MSNBC meteorologist Bill Corrins appeared on Rachel Maddow Wednesday night to talk about Hurricane Dorian and the bizarre way in which President Donald Trump has been caught lying about the storm. Corrins noticed something important though. Advertisement Let's show you the map, he said showing a map that Trump had just tweeted. He sent the Alabama tweet out saying that Alabama was at risk along with South Carolina, North Carolina, and Georgia. If we can take the weather map and show, that morning he sent the tweet, about four hours before it went out. This was the official forecast. Most people in a position of power would wake up, see the sand, pretty obvious, Corinne's continued. Maybe he didn't see this at 5 a.m. in the morning. Maybe he missed it. So, after we went through all this nonsense that you just said today, the president tweeted out this map saying that this was his proof of why Alabama was in the cone. All those squiggly lines are computer models and you look at it and you're like, huh, he's got us. Look, even some go to Louisiana. And Mississippi. I don't know why he left Louisiana and Mississippi off. This was the originally projected path of the hurricane in its early stages. As you can see, almost all models predicted it to go through Florida also hitting Georgia and Alabama. I accept the fake news apologies. pic.twitter.com slash 0 0 kvo 6 Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, September 4, 2019 Advertisement Currens then showed that the date on the map that Trump shared was from August 28. Trump tweeted out the Alabama warning on September 1. There were several maps in between that time that updated the forecast. This was four days before he sent the tweet out about Alabama, he continued. So, I said, why would you pick four days before the tweet? Why would you pick, that, map? He then showed the updated weather map that was posted hours before Trump sent out the Alabama tweet on September. 1. Trump said that he was getting updates every hour on the storm. If that was true, he should have seen that updated map or at least heard about it. Advertisement It's the same kind of map showing that Alabama is no longer in the path of the storm on any model. Maybe he didn't see that, Corinne said, giving Trump the benefit of the doubt. Go back 24 hours before he sent out the Alabama tweet. Still, none of the lines go in there. Advertisement if that is his proof that he wants us to believe that for four days, cancelling Poland and golfing, he didn't get any other weather maps showing it was going, said Corinne. So, what's worse? Trying to cover this up and keep going on it or the fact that his argument saying he, four days. Kearns also noted that an apology was due to the National Weather Service. Advertisement Watch his comments below, enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David Key Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed a billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, we've got issues, focused on issues, not tweets, and unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here, we're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting.
Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David Key Johnston's DC report, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, we've got issues, focused on issues, not tweets. Unlike other news sites, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to, email protected. Let's block ads. Why?